What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the MDP906 that Miniware were nice enough to send over for review. This is a ultra portable 300 watt 10 amp max output variable micro bench power supply. Measuring in at a tiny 20 mm tall by 105 mm wide and 65 mm deep. Or about 80% the size of a Super Nintendo cartridge. This thing is truly tiny. Let's start off by taking a quick look at the main external features of the device. The unit enclosure is entirely made from aluminium and has a nice feel to it. Looking around the front, you have an infinite turn rotary encoder to adjust the settings and values in the power supply software. Next to that we have three momentary buttons and a small OLED display. For the buttons, from left to right we have set. This is used for selecting either current or voltage to adjust with the rotary encoder, as well as entering submenus in the software and confirming parameter modifications. Also holding this button down also changes the voltage and current increments from 10 millivolts and 1 milliamp steps to 300 millivolts and 100 milliamp steps respectively. Next to that we have the menu button. Also holding this down brings up more information and volume control for the built-in buzzer. And lastly we have the run lock button. Pressing this quickly turns the output on or off and holding it locks the output so you can't change any values. You can still however turn the output on and off while the unit is locked. On the left hand side we have the output terminals. These are gold plated and compatible with 4mm banana plugs. They can also be unscrewed to insert wire instead. They also have LED rings to indicate when the output is enabled, a handy feature in my opinion. This unit also comes included with some gold plated leads with alligator clips. They're about 50 centimeters long. And along the bottom you can see the internal fan and dust grill. This fan is automatically controlled by the 906. You can't change any fan settings in the software. And lastly for power inputs, the 906 supports both 20 volt PD USB-C at 5 amps or a variable DC input from 4.2 to 30 volts at 14 amps max. Keep in mind only a single input can be used at a time. You can use the equation to quickly determine if your power brick is sufficient for the wattage you want to get out of the 906. For example, my setup, I'm using a 12 volt source with a max output of 3 amps. So converting that to watts for simplicity's sake, I can get about 36 watts out of this unit to use on projects today. What's really cool about the 906 is it has internal boost conversion in addition to buck conversion. This means that with only my 12 volt input, I can output anywhere from 10 millivolts to 30 volts, taking into account current restrictions also. My previous tiny bench power supply didn't have any built in voltage boost converter, so I was only limited to my power brick voltage. As with all bench power supplies, the rated output power is the maximum output voltage and current figures. So for this supply to get the rated 300 watts, you have to draw 10 amps at 30 volts. So at a 5 volt output, the most you can get out of the miniware is 50 watts, 3 volts is 30 watts, 1 volt is 10 watts. Don't get me wrong, this is still ample for hobby work and even for small device repair. Speaking of small device repair, the high resolution display, as in the number of digits for measuring voltage and current, means that the power supply is a great fit for mobile phone and MacBook repair shops. On the repair shop side, you have both a 1 millivolt and 1 milliamp resolution, so you can get more accurate readings when diagnosing boards, especially with mobile phones. The max 10 amp output over the entire voltage range is also super handy for voltage injection to find shorts using thermal detection. Quickly testing the output now, there appears to be no huge voltage spikes when the output is enabled. I've tested both with a load and without. When running without a load, the output takes a long time after turning off for the capacitors to drain. For normal applications like hobby use or repair, I think it's fine. Just a little thing to note. Okay, now popping the unit open, we can see the previously mentioned fan and a fairly large copper heatsink with a heat pipe. Internally, the power supply has the power delivery and logic separated on two boards. A modular design like this is always welcome. Looking at the brains of the operation, we have an ARM Cortex-M4 operating at a max speed of 120MHz. 
with a 512 kilobytes of flash and 64 kilobytes of RAM. And lastly, just next to the processor, we have the included wireless module. This is for wireless communication between the power supply unit and other add-ons Miniware have available. Just to name a few, there's an electric load, a color display module, signal generator, and a few more in development. So in conclusion, this is an all-round well-built microbench power supply with enough kick to actually be useful. It would have been nice to see an included power supply in the box, as that would have been a proper turnkey solution here. Apart from that, I can't see too much else to complain about. It's a great space saving option, but for the current price, if you don't care about portability or space savings, there are better value, more powerful solutions out there. If you like this video, why not subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below what you think of this little power supply and if you would consider actually buying one. I'll have links down in the description below where you can find it. And until next time, see ya.